Hi guys, this is the Java series. Now let's discuss about the throws keyword. Okay, what is the usage of throws keyword? Throws is a keyword in Java language which is used in the signature of the method. To indicate that this method might throw one of the listed type exceptions. Okay, the caller to these methods has to handle the exception using a try catch block or a throws keyword. Okay, I repeat it again. Throws is a keyword which is used in the signature of the method to indicate that this method might throw one of the listed exceptions. Okay, the caller to these methods has to handle the exception using a try catch block a throw keyword. Okay, let's see this example. Here I have created this package. Inside this package, I have created the class. Class name is throws key. Okay, inside this class, I have created the user defined function. Function name is check. Okay, and here I have used the static keyword. We already discussed about the static keyword with the method definition. Okay. If we use the static keyword, it means there is no need to use the object of this class to call this method. We can call this method using this class name directly. Okay. And here I have used the throws keyword. Okay. And here I have given the exception handler. Null pointer exception and arithmetic exception okay so throws keyword is used in the signature of the method to indicate that this method might throw one of the listed exceptions got it if any error occurred inside this method means what will happen this try catch block is responsible to handle the error which is raised inside this check user defined function. Isn't it? Okay, we know already execution starts only from the main method. Okay, inside this main method, I have implemented the try catch. Here I have used the multi catch block. Okay, inside this try block, I have written the call statement. Check is the call statement. After encounter this line, the control search where the function definition part for this call statement. Okay. So, the control jumps from the 16th line to the 4th line. Because here only we have the method definition part for this call statement. Okay. And the control comes inside this check user different function. Here I have created the name. This is the name of the variable and uh, its data type is string. I have initialized the name as ROM. Okay. And I want to print the length of this string. So what is the length of this ROM? Only 3. Isn't it? Length is the inbuilt method which is present inside the string class. So this length returns 3. Isn't it? So there is no errors. No error means what will happen? The control again jumps back to the 17th line. Okay. And everything is good. Will be printed on our console. Okay. Now let me execute this one. So length of the given string is 3 and everything is good. Is printed. Okay. There is no problem now. But here... I just uncomment these two lines. Now, what will happen? Here, what is it? This is the expression 100 divided by 0 returns the error. Isn't it? Divide by 0 error. Okay. So, due to this error, what will happen? Here, we have the arithmetic exception handler. Isn't it? Okay. So, the control jumps from the 7th line to here. 
arithmetic exception. Okay, so the inbuilt error message will be printed on our console. So let me execute again the same. Before I execute, I have to save and then I execute the same. So what is it? Java language arithmetic exception divided by 0. Isn't it? So how is it possible? Because of this throws keyword, it's possible. Okay. So here I have the list of exceptions. Uh, this error is handled by this exception handler. So the control jumps from the fourth line to the 24th line. That's why we got this error message. Okay. Now I comment these two lines and I uncomment this one and I comment this line. Okay. I have to save and I execute the same program. So what is it? Here I have initialized name as null. Okay. So here name dot length returns what? Error only. Why? Because here we have the null. Null means nothing, no value, isn't it? But I try to print the length of the null. Is it possible? No. So this statement raised the error. So what happened here? The control jumps from the 10th line to the 19th line. Here we have the exception handler, null pointer exception. And this is the variable. Inside this variable, the inbuilt error message is stored. Okay. That's why we got this output. Cannot invoke string dot length because name is null. I hope you all understood about the execution flow of this program. Okay. So, for the first execution, there is no error. So, we got only everything is good. And the length of the ROM is printed. For the second execution, we got the arithmetic exception because of this error. Divide by zero error. For the third execution, here we got the null pointer exception because I tried to print the length of the null value. That's why I got this error. Okay. Now, I hope you understood about the usage of throws keyword. So, what is the usage of throws keyword? Throws keyword is used in the signature of the method to indicate that this method might throw one of the listed exceptions. Okay. The caller to this method has to handle the exception using a try catch or throw keyword. We have completed this session. If you have any doubts, drop the message on the comment section. If this video is useful to you, like and share. For more videos, subscribe my channel. Hit the bell icon, then only you will get the notification for my new updates. Have a nice day. Thank you.